time. Let's have a conversation about deep performance. My life has just been immersed in high performance. It's, I've always wanted to be a fighter pilot. Uh, from the age of six, it was, it was my dream. So all through school, <laughs> everything I ever did was aligned to achieving that, that goal. And I did, uh, straight from school into the Air Force, uh, where I trained as a fighter pilot. Uh, from there, I've transitioned into construction. I built a multi-million dollar business in, in the Middle East. I've done everything I ever wanted to do. And it's quite a realization to come to. I'm in my mid 40s now and you look back and you go, I really wouldn't change anything. All the great things that happened, some of the catastrophes that happened as well. You really understand this yin and yang and ebb and flow of life and that performance is really about committing to the end game, not being in the moment. Well, not panicking about what's happening in the moment, no. We're seeing in the world today a lot of panic, a lot of emotional, uh, tumultuous activity uh, with the confusion around, hey, my, do I have to spend the next eight weeks at home or can I go out and spend some time in the sun? Is my, are my kids gonna go to school? So when I look back at my life and I, and I think about, you know, how did it all happen? It was just such a blur. There was just so much going on. And, I started to explore this concept of consistent high performance and there's a, there's a lot of research around high performance. The high performance movement started you know, in the 90s and every company, every sports team, everyone needs a high performance, highly talented individual. What was interesting about the Air Force, that was not the case. They, they uh, recruited commitment, they recruited determination. Uh, and when I started to look a little bit deeper into, into high performance, I just kept hearing that word deeper, deeper, deeper. And that's really the origins of, of deep performance. It was, it was a type of performance that encompasses high performance, it encompasses having a rest, but most importantly, it's about living a life well lived. And then I thought, well, what is it? What, what do you do? Like if someone said to you, hey Boo, how do you have a deep performing, or how do you do deep performance to have the life you want? I was, it took me months and I, and I reflected on it and I thought well, you can pretty much buy everything except for three things and that's time, trust and purpose. These three things you have to create, you have to build for yourself. If you, if you rush trust or you buy trust, you lose time. If you try and buy time, you lose trust. And if you have no purpose, then there is no such concept of, of time. Uh, and when you want to achieve those big goals, when you're looking at something that's truly transformative, the one thing you have to be uh, above, um, above all others is patient. So this, it's the interconnecting relationship between these three parts and, and it's down those channels I've sort of continued to research what it is about these groups of individuals or teams who even in a high performing environment, even in the NRL, the NFL, the NBA, the Formula One, uh, business, entrepreneurs, Within those communities of high performers, how is it that this small group continue to outperform the high performers? And it's there, it's there that you find the secrets to deep performance.